Jesus. KK, your life belongs to Jesus. Come on, somebody. I need you to share the live broadcast. I need you to tap on that screen. I need you to make sure that your city, your country is represented this morning. Talk to me, somebody. Somebody say, I'm anointed for exploits. I will do exploits. As you're sharing the live broadcast, I want you to type in the comment section. I see that nail spray, nail spray Jamaica belongs to Jesus. Talk to me, somebody. I want you to tell somebody that I will do exploits. And yes, you are saying I will do exploits. You are representing your nation. You are representing the country that you're in, that you will do exploits. Zambia will do exploits. Hallelujah. Martin is going to do exploits for Jesus. Dumaiza is going to do exploits for Jesus. Talk to me, somebody. Litolo Ketana, you're going to bring, is it Litolo? Yes, you are treasure. Oh my God. You're going to do exploits for Jesus. I see it. Angel Konza is going to do exploits for Jesus. Unista is going to do exploits for Jesus. Kimberly is going to do exploits for Jesus. My God, there is something in the spirit realm this morning. We have the power to attract exploits this morning as we keep on declaring that we belong to Jesus. Come on, somebody. We are going to do exploits. My God, God is going to release an, a special anointing for those who have declared this morning that they belong to Jesus. When you belong to Jesus, you begin to do exploits. People who belong to Jesus are people with a, a sense of identity. They know where they belong and they know what they can do. Talk to me, somebody. Somebody receive their strength for exploits. Talk to me, somebody. Hallelujah, hallelujah. So come on, Facebook, declare. I belong to Jesus. I will do exploits for Jesus. I'm going to do exploits for Jesus. Do I have people who are ready who are saying, I'm going to do exploits for Jesus. I belong to Jesus. Oh my God, my life is not my own. And this morning I rose to declare and to echo again into the spirit realm that I belong to Jesus. Therefore, I'm untouchable. I belong to Jesus. I'm unstoppable. I belong to Jesus. I'm going to do exploits for him. Come on, somebody. Talk to me. I release right now off the bed. I say receive the strength and power. Receive the courage to conquer. My God, there is something that is coming in the spirit realm and that is the anointing and the strength to do exploits exploits. You are going to do exploits. Somebody declare it with me. I will do exploits in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I'm going to do exploits in Jesus mighty name. I'm going to do exploits. Hallelujah. I'm going to do exploits. Don't explode, please. I need you to explode. Yes, in the spiritual realm, but I want you to do exploits for Jesus as you declare that my life is not my own. To him I belong. I will do exploits for Jesus. Ora kasheke Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Receive the strength and power. Receive the courage to, to do exploits. Receive the conquering exploits, anointing in Jesus' mighty name. The Spirit of the Lord says you're going to receive strength this morning. You're going to receive power this morning. You're going to receive courage. Hallelujah. You're going to do exploits. Come on, somebody. Somebody say it's coming. Exploits. Exploits are coming my way in Jesus' name. One of the main key uh, things that we need to know that is that when we know we belong to Jesus, we understand that we've got the power to defeat Satan. Hallelujah. And how are we going to defeat Satan this morning? Is by firstly, we're going to dance. Hallelujah. Very early to God. We're going to dance this morning. Somebody enter with a praise, praise audacity. Somebody enters with a dancing or, or audacity. You dance like David danced in front of the devil. Hallelujah. You forget yourself before God. Talk to me, somebody. And when you do this, you are killing every form of sorrow. Every form of depression is leaving you right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, don't wait until even I share the word because I'm already prophetically saying to you, it is in your dance, it is in the dance, it is in the dance this morning. Oh, shout it out loud to me. I belong to you, Jesus. Oh my God. The devil can't stop us. Hallelujah. I belong to you I belong this is how the spirit woke me up this morning he reminded me and he said I must come and remind you whose you are and that you belong to Jesus your life is not your own therefore you don't have to stress about who's responsible for your provision talk to me I belong to Jesus my life is not my own 
I've been captured by a love I cannot explain. I'm surrounded by the love of Jesus. Come on, somebody. Is somebody feeling the presence of the Lord this morning? You are surrounded. I may not get the lyrics right, but all I know is that he's saying right now, I'm surrounded by a love I cannot explain. I'm surrounded by a protection that I cannot explain. I'm surrounded by blessings that I cannot explain. I cannot explain it, but all I know is that I'm going into an explosion. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. I'm surrounded by the love of Jesus. I'm surrounded by the protection of Jesus. I'm surrounded by divinity. I'm surrounded by a dance and a praise and a worship that is going to allow me to defeat Satan in all his ramifications. And I'm going to defeat sorrow by my dance. I'm going to defeat sorrow by my praise. I'm going to defeat sorrow by belonging to Jesus. Talk to me, somebody. Everything inside of you that is screaming sorrow, everything that is outside of you that is screaming sorrow, right now it's living you right now in Jesus mighty name as you continue to declare I belong to Jesus hallelujah miracles are about to happen somebody the Lord says until you work it God bless you Anna hallelujah miracles can appear until you work for it hallelujah how do you work for it by celebrating Jesus by loving on him and telling him I love you Jesus I am surrounded by your love I am surrounded by an anointing that I cannot explain this morning I woke up to celebrate Jesus come out of Soto Kodia listen to what the scripture says the scripture says who can separate us from the love of Christ that shall tribulations no it doesn't matter what I'm going through it doesn't matter what the storm is it's not gonna shake me it's not gonna shake the foundations that I'm in come on somebody I am surrounded nobody can separate me from the love of God the fact that I sinned and that you want to accuse me of it is not gonna separate me from the love of God somebody needs to wake up this morning and know that your sins have been blotted out somebody needs to wake up this morning and know that there is a God that is alive that is above every other sin, every other, other accusation. Somebody needs to know that you walk with the Holy Spirit, you're the advocate, the ultimate counselor that you can walk into a courtroom with that will represent you and says that the accusations of the devil will not stand. Talk to me, somebody. I'm walking in the courtrooms of heaven. I'm here to remind somebody that you are justified before him. I'm here to tell you that mercy is speaking for you and that you are going to get out scot-free. Today is Tuesday. I'm not somebody, I'm not a, a vessel that forgets. I know that there's a person who's going to a disciplinary hearing today and I'm here to announce to you right now my God the Holy Spirit has confirmed that he's going in with you hallelujah he's gonna be your advocate and your counsel free of charge my God the word of God says that there shall be no tribulation that will separate you from the love of God. It doesn't matter what you have done. It doesn't matter how short you feel that you are falling short of the grace of God. He says nothing, not even your distress, not even your stress is going to separate you from him. Talk to me, somebody. He says neither persecution, hallelujah, even if they can persecute you, nothing is going to separate you from the love of God. Talk to me, somebody. I'm already far in the spirit right now. I need you to catch up with me. Somebody say, I belong to Jesus. Somebody say, I I will do exploits. I belong to Jesus and I will do exploits. Talk to me, somebody. Somebody says, I've been going through a season of famine. I've been going around as if I'm in the wilderness. Pastor, you don't understand. I understand. All I know is that that famine is not going to separate you from the love of God. That famine is not going to cut you off from the supplies of God. That famine, it is us who move away from God. It is not us. It's not him because sometimes we put ourselves in the famine. Sometimes we find ourselves in the famine because we do not apply his principles. Sometimes we find ourselves in a famine situation where we don't understand and we don't apply the wisdom of God but he's saying that today I'm reclaiming my own those who will say I belong to Jesus those who want to go and re-echo in themselves and reclaim their position can somebody claim your position back to you to Jesus this morning just say again I belong to Jesus somebody wants to somebody wants to go to a different dimension you want to get out of that famine just go ahead and reclaim your position in God right now and say I belong to Jesus my God he says your nakedness will not separate you from the love of God. Yes, you have fallen short and you became naked. Makoria, it shall not make you fall short of the love of God. Talk to me, somebody. He says there is no peril that is going to make you fall short of the love of God. Talk to me. He says that there is no sword that is going to make you fall short. I belong to Jesus. I belong to Jesus. 
Therefore, I will do exploits for Jesus. Come on, somebody share the broadcast right now. Share the broadcast with at least one person. Share the broadcast with two people if you can dare. Share the broadcast with three people if you are ready to do exploits. If you are ready to explode and be the best of you, the best version of you, somebody share the broadcast with 10 or 15 people. Just go crazy for Jesus. I'm ready for those who are going to dance and lose themselves before God this morning. Hallelujah. I'm glad I belong to Jesus. I belong to Jesus. Yes, come on, somebody. I see you, Mara Official. You're on fire this morning. Talk to me. I thank you. God bless you, Esther, for sharing. Grace, extra blessings for you for sharing. Emmanuel, God bless you for sharing. Eh, hey, Lorato Masina, thank you for sharing. Jen, Jen uh, is it Janville? Hallelujah, hallelujah. Father, I say extra blessings. My God, extra blessings, extra blessings. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Lisa, thank you for sharing. May God expand you. May God enrich in Jesus' mighty name. Emmanuel Ayisi, thank you for sharing. In Jesus' mighty name, Concilia, thank you for liking the live angel. Everybody who's tapping, everybody who's doing everything to populate the kingdom of God. <laughs> May your works never be forgotten. May your name remain in the remembrance book of God. May you never be forgotten. May God remember every seed that you have sown, every cry that you have cried. Yes, sir. Um, Kolile, I see you in Jesus' mighty name. The Lord sees you. That is the most important thing, that even the Lord sees you himself. Come on, somebody. Brenda Zender, Snail on Facebook. Are you sharing? Are you sharing in the WhatsApp groups? Are you sharing in the timelines? Come on, somebody. Oh, Jesus. I belong to Jesus. I belong to Jesus. I'm not ashamed to claim who I am. I'm not ashamed to announce on whose house I'm coming from. This is a surname that I'm not afraid of. This is a surname I can stand and be proud of and say I'm I'm the anointed one. OV is anointed. Litoto is anointed. Emmanuel is anointed. Uzi is anointed. Cute uh, Melon is anointed. Shadrach is anointed. Heather is anointed. Fix is anointed. Sabrin is anointed in the name of Jesus. You belong to Jesus. You belong to the Almighty in Jesus' name. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for those who are sharing. You're not afraid of anything. You're not going to be afraid of anything. You belong to Jesus. Talk to me, somebody. Hallelujah. Good Awashe, you belong to Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Everybody who's following, everybody who's sharing. My God, there is a song that I will sing for you, hopefully at the end. Hallelujah. Because I can feel that there's a praise that is coming upon us this morning. You belong to Jesus. Mark out. My God. Minister Jeb, you belong to Jesus. Thank you, God. Bless everybody who's, who, who's giving. I want you to type in the comment section, I will do exploits. I will do exploits. Hallelujah. Daniel chose to live for God. And this morning, Father, we come proclaiming that we choose to live for you. We choose to live for you, God. In Jesus' mighty name, Holy Spirit, we announce we'll live for you. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you this morning as we start our broadcast. My God, Father God, I pray for an unusual anointing to do exploits in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, I thank you for everybody who has arisen this morning. And Lord, we are, we are ready to declare that we are glad that we belong to Jesus and we will announce it to the four corners of the earth and beyond in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Oh my God. Those people that have declared that they belong to Jesus are people who don't have an identity crisis. These are people who know that they, they choose to live for him. So this morning, the spirit of the Lord is saying, don't only just belong to me, but live for me. Do not live for men. There is something that happens when you put too much, when you elevate somebody, a human being above God and you make that person an idol and you now suddenly realize that that person can be snatched and God says I'm a jealous God he says I'm looking for saints that will say I belong to Jesus and they're going to elevate me above any other thing they're not going to make idols of men hallelujah I'm looking for people who are going to choose to live for me 
Daniel was such a man. When I'm trekking through the scripture, I found a man called Daniel. He did not compromise. He did not compromise even when things are, are, were hard. And I'm looking for those saints who are saying, I don't care what the symptoms are. I don't care how hard it looks, but I'm going to live for God. Talk to me, somebody. He did not compromise. Somebody shout to your neighbor, I will not compromise. I will not compromise because there is a serious sound of abundance of rain. In this month of July, I don't know how to even, I can articulate this. I need to articulate this. My God. I'm going to take permission to do screenshots of the testimonies that are coming in. Those of you who are sending in testimonies, please, unless you don't want me to screenshot it, I will, I will close whatever other but i'm telling you there are exploits that are happening there are testimonies god is just humbling me on every side you're not gonna live here with that uh, without a, a, a testimony so i hope you came expecting this morning daniel did not compromise even when things went hard he said i will not compromise he says i belong to jesus he chose to pray to god morning and night I don't know if there's people who are saying they're tired. They're saying, it feels like I'm breaking. No, don't, don't get tired. Daniel did not get tired. Jesus. He chose to pray every morning, every night, and he found time out to go out and, and, and be in the presence of God. Don't be so busy. Don't think that your business is so important that you're going to compromise and not have time for God. You got to make time for God. Talk to me, somebody. Daniel chose to live for God. And his identity, was, his identity was changed. Some of you have been moving around with an identity of shame, identity of depression, identity of rejection, identity of not having enough, identity of being jobless. Your identity needs to be changed this morning. Some of you have been embarrassed enough. Some of you, you are even afraid to say you are a Christian, but God says do not compromise. As you stand up and you announce that you belong to me, I'm going to make sure that I, they can see that you truly belong to somebody who's a blesser. My God. He was not ashamed of his relationship with God. But we've got some believers who cannot even call on the name of Jesus. But when you go to Hebalist and Juju Priest and everybody, they are not ashamed. They are not ashamed of their small gods. And when you look at other religions, they are not ashamed to call on their gods. Whether their gods answer or not, but they still just don't compromise. So I want to urge somebody and say to you, whatever God is going to prophetically release for you this morning is, is linked to you claiming your sense of belonging and your sense of identity in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Don't be afraid to say I'm a believer. No matter how hot the situation that I may be passing through, very soon, God will soon bring you into a light of breakthrough. Hallelujah. Whatever you're going through, whatever the breaking point that you are feeling like you're in, it is your breakthrough point. Come on, somebody. I want to announce to somebody that the devil is already dead. Did you hear me? Your problems are already dead. By the fact that you even just stumbled on this broadcast, if you are the first time, you came here on divine appointment. We called you to, be, to come into this room. We called you for deliverance. We called you because we know that there's a spirit that is moving on this protocol breaking altar. God bless you, Herbert. I heard the testimony. Hallelujah. They may try to rob you, but they will have to return the money. My God, do you understand that we carry words of power? My God, my God, my God. Whoever stole from you will have to return those things crying. Oh, Jesus. I wish I had, I wish I had permission to share that testimony. <laughs> but I want to announce to you, your problems are dead. The devil that has been troubling you is dead. Come on, somebody. Facebook, talk to me. Change my identity, Lord. Who wants a change of identity this morning? You don't like what you have been seeing. You know that this is not your life. Change my identity. Change my identity. Oh, Kareba Satan. Your problems are so dead. They are like a lifeless snake that is lying on a bare floor. Have you ever seen a dead snake that is lifeless, that is not moving? Whatever the snake that you saw in your dream, this is the end result. It was lying there lifeless. Because every form of life in it has been sucked out. Because it came into the wrong house. 
There's some people, two people, when you step out outside your house, there's going to be a snake that is dead, literally. I saw two snakes that are dead because they attacked the wrong house. They meant it for evil, but God turned it around for your good. Thank you, Jesus. Do not fear, says the Lord. Do not fear. We love this Jesus. Somebody say, my identity is changing this morning. Anything the enemy is throwing at you, don't be afraid. And it's because... Why it's happening is because you did what you get you did that spiritual instruction that I gave you. <laughs> Are you serious, snakes? You already you already confirming you saw the dead snake. My God. You know, during the week I try to just stay on the word, but I don't know what the Lord is doing these days. And I'm just flowing with the Holy Ghost to give somebody an encouragement. My aim is not to prophesy people in the morning, but I just say what I'm seeing. And I saw the dead snake. I saw the dead snake. My God. Thank you for confirming. Thank you for confirming. Thank you. I see it. God bless you, everybody who's joining. Somebody type as you are coming in. Say, I belong to Jesus. I will do exploits. I want you to type those two things. If you've just joined it, joined us. I belong to Jesus. Angel, Riviera. This is what you're going to do for me, my darling. You're going to focus on your work, right? Let me give you a strategy. Pray for them in secret. Give them due respect and just do your work. Okay? One of the things that God gives us is wisdom on how and what we are doing. I'm not doing dream interpretation. Those of you who are doing dreams, you can send them on the inbox or you can put them on on my pinned videos okay so i'm not gonna do dream interpretation because i know we'll be here for three hours otherwise so that lady rivera from now on you're gonna pray and you're gonna pray in private you're gonna pray in your secret closet at home and when you get to work you don't have to pray out loud in front of them if you are alone you can pray because if you, if I, I don't want you to distance them from you. I don't want your bosses to overlook you because they are reading what you're saying. They don't see your good intentions. So now you're going to do it in private. That's the wisdom from the word of God. Thank you so much, Verito. Thank you so much, Verito Lopez. I hope you got that. God bless you. I belong to Jesus and I will do exploits. My God, thank you, Jesus. Thank you to those who are sharing. Thank you those who are following. Hallelujah. Thank you those who are following. Please remember to switch on your notification bell. If anything that you do today, don't leave without following. And make sure you follow us on YouTube as well to watch the replays. Let's get into what the word of God wants to say this morning. Holy Spirit, have your way. We belong to Jesus and we will do exploits. Whatever that thing that has been tormenting you, it is your ultimate responsibility to make sure that you will keep your relationship with God intact. Psalm 119 says, seven times a day I will praise you for the righteous laws. So it doesn't matter. I want you to keep on praising God. As I'm speaking, the more you praise God, the more you unlock. This is how the spirit dimension works. It is your hunger that will determine what he wants me to say. It is your hunger that will determine. I have my notes that are prepared that I wanted to come and articulate to you. 
but he can direct me as if when I see an emergency, I will say it. But what I know is that whatever he has given me as a word to prepare to articulate this morning is going to answer the questions that some of you came in caring. Some of you did not, could not sleep because you cannot, these things are bothering you in your head. There are questions you came and those questions came to be answered and you came to receive a word that is going to catapult you to your next step. Because some of you, you came just to want to get direction. So that direction is going to come through the word. So that is why I don't abandon. I don't want to walk outside of the word of God. That's why I always, everything I pray for. And I always check even before I utter any word of knowledge, any word of wisdom anything that the lord says i must do i check myself against the word i check myself in terms of where i am what does the scripture say it is written does it confirm it god then i say it do not let this book of the Lord depart from your mouth. Meditate on it day and night so that you may be careful to do everything that is written in it. Then you will be prosperous and successful. That says the spirit of the Lord. You will read my word. You will meditate on my word. You will. It is a condition. It is conditional on you attaching yourself to the written word, the scriptures. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For the logos to become the rhema and for the rhema to give you the evidence that you are looking for in the practical. He says you have to start by meditating on my logos. When you meditate on my logos, you will now become prosperous. Some of you keep on saying, I need a financial breakthrough. The Lord is saying, are you meditating upon my word? Are you meditating upon my word? You are so quick, you want to be the, the, the living epistle, but you are not understanding my word. I need to equip you and give you my word. Because those that belong to me, they understand the manual. And when you unlock the manual, you unlock the results. When you unlock the contract, when you understand the terms and conditions of the contract, then you understand the service level agreement. Then you can go back to God and say, God, you are not keeping up to your service levels. You told me if I do this, this will happen. You told me if I do this, this will happen. You will told me if I go through this challenge, this is what I should do. When I'm going through a processing, when I'm going through a season of waiting, this is what I should do. I just answered a whole lot of people right now. And that's what they don't want to say. Some of them, they don't want to hear it. My God, what you confess to the ear of God is what he will do. But how do you know you're confessing what he wants to hear? Logos, written word. I shall meditate upon this word day and night because I belong to God. How can you belong to God? Look, a, a, a Samsung TV will only perform according to the manual of Samsung standards. This is not a one size fits all. This is not a manual. There's a manual that is specific to your design. You are a designer's original. Oh my God, I need to move fast today. I need to do less chit chat. Your mouth has a special anointing. Your mouth carries power. Talk to me, somebody. Somebody say, I belong to Jesus. Thank you, Ovi. Somebody say, I will do exploits. I belong to Jesus. Those who have a relationship with God will always prosper. Do you understand that he's looking for a relationship? He doesn't want you outside of the relationship circles. Think about the many times you call your boyfriend or your girlfriend or you call your husband. Hopefully you call your husband often and hopefully your husband calls you often. Do you understand? Have you ever been in love? He says, I want a relationship with you. I want you to romance me. I want you to brag about the fact that the, re the reason why you look so good, the reason why you are dressed so well is because I dressed you. It's because I covered you. The reason why you don't fall is because I protect you. The reason why you are not attacked is because I protect you. The reason why you are still standing, they didn't shoot you during that robbery. It is because I protect you. You are mine. I belong to Jesus. Talk to me, somebody. I belong to Jesus. Daniel was such a man who had a relationship to, with God. And at the end, his name was written amongst great men of the land of Babylon. And he took the city of God. He took the city for God, rather. So for your name to enter the book, 
Some of you, you want the name to enter the book. You want a, what do, what, what, what do they call it in South Africa? A Pesar number? I, I, I don't know what they call it in other countries. Somebody is looking for a salary advice. You, you want a wages note. You also want your name to enter the wages note. My God, thank you, Jesus. But by the grace of God, you are entering into the book of remembrance in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. My God. And when you, when you get to Daniel chapter 11, verse 32, he says, And such as do wickedly against the covenant shall he corrupt by flatteries. But the people that do know their God shall be strong and do exploits. Oh, Jesus. Can somebody just meditate and just marinate on this word? The people that know their God shall be strong and they shall do exploits. With smooth words of flattery and praise, he will turn to godlessness those who are willing to disregard his covenant. But the people that know their God, the people that are spiritually mature, that know their God, they will display strength and they will take action. They will resist the devil and he will flee. The people that know their God, they will display the strength and they will see results. They will do exploits. They will take over territories. They will take over territories. They will take over territories in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Karabashanda, Holy Spirit, I hear you. You are about to take over territories. You are about to enter into lands where you did not come from and you're going to take over. Some of you are going to take over territories in your workplace and they will not understand because they say you are the new kid on the block, but the new kid on the block is the one who's getting promoted very fast. They will not understand. I see it. You're going to get promoted within three months of you starting that job. And your name is Jacqueline. There's going to be an acceleration. There's going to be a lot of jealousy. There's going to be a lot of attacks. But the promotion is going to happen within the next three months, says, says the Lord. Joshua, you have been fighting and you have been fighting a lot of resistance in your workplace as well. The Lord is saying, I am accelerating because of the pressure. You have been in a pressure cooker for too long. He says, I'm accelerating you. I'm going to relocate you. I'm giving you a new department that you are shifting to. You will display strength. You will do exploits for God. God bless you, sure. My God, don't shift from the presence of the Lord. If you shift from the presence of God, then his promises may be wasted. We don't want his promises to be wasted in you. Somebody declare, my, the promises of God shall not be wasted on me. His promises are yes and amen. I shall not be wasted. My life shall not be wasted in the name of Jesus Christ. The promises of God will not be wasted in your life. When the promises of God are wasted in your life, you, you, you understand that you are unable to share testimonies. Others are sharing testimonies, but your promises, karabashoto kodi asata. You will not be wasted in Jesus' mighty name. You shall not be wasted in Jesus' mighty name. Tintin, you will not be wasted in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Jesus. When a man does not belong to God, his destiny can be caged. And I prophesy that your destiny shall not be caged in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. There is a lady called Luandisa. Luandisa, you have been feeling very caged. And the Lord is saying, I'm breaking the prison bars. I'm breaking the iron bars. You are coming out right now. Right now, you are feeling an overwhelming sense of relief in Jesus' mighty name. Confirm it for me right now. There is something that has just jumped out of your chest. It's like something, it's like your beat, your heart is beating very fast right now. Don't shift from the presence of God. If you don't shift from the presence of God, your life shall not be wasted. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Father, let it loose. Use me, Holy Spirit, as you wish. As you wish, my Father. The same way that Daniel's destiny could not be caged. Because he was a child of light. God bless everybody who's giving. 
he could not be caged. Even in the lion's den, he's still shine. Even if they put you in the lion's den, you will still shine. Even if they put you in the lion's den, there's a lady, you have been, you are in the lion's den, literally your toxic environment. You are in a very toxic environment right now. You are in a very toxic work environment. And the Lord is saying, you are going to shine in that environment. In fact, you have already started shining. They cannot understand because the more they are exerting the pressure, The lady's name starts with an M. Father, Holy Spirit, reveal. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the promises of God shall not be wasted in Jesus' mighty name. Mukundi. Shakura Bahasa Takalia Mahasa Takuria Mahasa Roshikala Mahasa Takadia Bahashata. If you're confirming, confirm very fast. The, the messages are going too fast. I don't know if there's anything else extra I'm I'm leaving behind. But if that's you, you 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 need you need to speak faster. Karabashoto kodiha. Because otherwise I'm moving on. Kalabashoto kodiha se tequila masoto tutoboshia. Is it you? Thank you, Mpote. You are shining. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Now we can move. Shakalia Masoto Korea Bahasata. You've been going through fire. They are, they, are, they are increasing the fire. But the more they are increasing the fire, they cannot understand. By now, they wanted you to have been fired. But instead of being fired, you continue to shine because your word, your work is excelling even more. My God, who's that as well? User 79, you're going to have to give me your name. I need to see your name, please. Talk to me. You said that is me as well. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Shakura Baha Satakadia Baha. Dineo, you will shine in the name of Jesus Christ. Come on, guys. I need to pronounce this blessing on you and I need to release you from that toxic environment in the name of Jesus Christ. Makura Baha Satakadia Baha Rasekelia masa takaria mahasa takaria maha Roshikondia masa takaria hasata. Please, if, if that is you, just, just confirm it. Happy in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I decree and I declare, I set that toxic environment on fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh my God, it's happening so fast. Shakoda bahasa takaria hasakata. What God has blessed cannot be cursed and you will not be crushed in that situation. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will shine. It, what the enemy meant for evil, you are going up. You are going up in the name of Jesus Christ. Noashe, is that you? Noashe, Constance, in the name of Jesus Christ. That's the N word that I was looking for. Aside from the M word, in Jesus' mighty name. Orabashi Masanda. Zodwa, may God uproot you from that environment. It's time that, for you to move on. The Lord will open it up for you. Can you please pray about it? as well in jesus mighty name in that in that place where you are in ask the lord to open up your spiritual eyes what is happening there is something that is happening on the pulpit side there is something that is smelling the lord is saying that altar i'm not happy with the altar i'm not gonna go deep deep inside because i don't want to touch the lord's anointed but i want the lord to open up your eyes precious gold in the mighty name of jesus christ i declare I decree I deliver you from that situation in the mighty name of Jesus Christ today as you go back to work you're gonna go back with a new strength you're gonna go back with a new refresh strength the Lord is going to you're going to feel a weight of God the more you are even walking the way they will be looking at you there is something there's a presence I release you with the presence of the anointing you are going to meditate on the word of God like never before you're not gonna you, you're not even gonna talk back you're not even gonna fight back but they're gonna feel the presence and today today you will come back and tell me today it's gonna be there's not gonna be much talk they won't be able to talk as you step in Clara, they will not be able to talk. receive the anointing that I'm releasing now. I'm releasing the anointing for exploits. I'm receiving the power. You are re you're going with the heaviness of the anointing this morning. As you continue to declare, I belong to Jesus. I want you to just sing that song. I'm going to play it. I'm going to, you, I don't know whether you've got a phone, download it, do whatever. You belong to God. You belong to God. 
I think it's a song by William McDowell. You go listen to that song. There's another song that I'm going to sing for you. But I just want to stay in the word I'm, I'm hearing. I'm so glad I belong to Jesus. Hallelujah. Norma, I come against the spirit of a stroke in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I order an alignment in your blood pressure right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare and I decree you will not suffer that stroke. I command that mouth to move to its rightful position right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Norma, if you have anointing oil, I want you to put it on your mouth right now in Jesus' mighty name. Sarah, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, receive the anointing for exploits, receive the anointing for shining. The more they put the pressure on you, the more the Lord is releasing the anointing. You will shine. You will not be dislodged from your position in the name of Jesus Christ. The anointing for exploits is being released right now. Those of you... My God, keep on declaring, I belong to Jesus. I belong to God. I belong to God. I belong to Jesus. And as I belong to Jesus, he fights for me. As I belong to Jesus, as I keep on declaring, I belong to Jesus. My God, my God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you will not go to a psychiatrist. Your mental health, I am aligning right now by virtue of the Holy Spirit, by virtue of the anointing on my life. I command your mind to be at peace right now. You will not break down. You will not break down in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Right now, there is a cold that is hitting you right now at the crown of your head. Right now, I command it right now. You will not lose your mind. The only thing that is critical, I saw that prayer point. I want you to understand that you're gonna, you can call on the name of the Lord and he will give you the peace. Don't listen to what mankind are saying is critical. I'm saying to you, it's critical that you draw closer to God and you say, God, let your will be done in my life. Father, I'm not ready to leave. Father, unless you are the one who is calling me. Father, therefore, if you are not the one calling me to leave this planet Earth right now, Father God, restore unto me my health in Jesus' mighty name as I align and realign myself back to God. I belong to God. Am I communicating? I belong to Jesus. I'm speaking to that person. Your, your prayer point went very fast. Please do not, do not. I need you to wash your mouth. I need you to, to cancel that. You do not say your situation is critical. Your situation is not critical. The matter is urgent, but that is why you serve a God that comes in in critical moments. In Jesus' mighty name. I declare and I decree that you will not be paralyzed. Whoever send that bewitchment to you, you will not be paralyzed in the name of Jesus Christ. I will do exploits in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I will do exploits in the name of Jesus Christ. Amanda, ah, the spirit of the Lord says, I must tell you, there is no bewitchment. There shall be no enchantment against, against you. Hallelujah. There is no enchantment against the house of Jacob. Therefore, you are a disciple of the house of Jacob, there shall not be bewitchment. Amanda, the Lord says, I must reassure you that you will not be bewitched in Jesus' mighty name. You have been having this fear that somebody is bewitching you. You don't understand certain things that are happening because you're confirmed to me, Amanda, so that I can move on. And I need you to understand that I as, as the spirit of God speaks, some of you, the Lord says, you must stop treating God as if, you know, it's like, oh my God, am I really going there? Am I really going to the word of rebuke? The Lord says that, you, you, you guys, you shouldn't be, the reason why he says meditate upon my word day and night, and the reason why I say I'm teaching you to pray, when you come to our broadcast, you need to understand what God has equipped you with, the principles that he has equipped you with, that you are able to pray and see the answers. If you continue in this manner that you go, you continue saying, what is this? This is the, the trap that medium set for you. You will go to people that are incorrect. You will go to people with familiar spirits because what? You are lazy to think. You are lazy to consult your God. And, and on this platform, I don't want that. 
I just, I will confirm what the Lord has already said for you, but I need you to go and dig it up yourself. Because if you're not careful, this is how you fall into the wrong hands. You fall into the wrong of those who are false. You fall into the hands of mediums, spirit mediums, and they will say the wrong things to you. I'm just saying this out of love. Because if you continue in that mode, what you're going to do, you're going to spend lots of money looking for answers in the wrong places. I, I, am I communicating? I want you to hear my heart. Thank you, Eurasia. You, 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 you've been there, right? You're going to spend money. You're going to travel countries and you're going to pay money to people. And they're going to give you charms because of the, your desperation is, is channeled in the wrong way. That's why God, he says, I am so tired, fortune, tell them that I need them to reclaim their identity, that they belong to me. And as they are coming to me, that is when I restore them. That is when they believe in me. When you stop having other options, you cannot be having one, way, one leg this side and one leg that side. He says they, they are not interested in my kingdom. But they're interested in the kingdom of darkness because it is themselves that take themselves to this shrine. Then they ask, well, what is the Lord going to do there? What is he saying about this? I'm not a Sangoma, guys. I'm not a Sangoma. So some of the requests, channel, come here with a different spirit. Come with a spirit of learning. Come as a teach, bring a teachable spirit. So you understand. You see, signs and wonders are supposed to follow us naturally as children of God. So when I, when God gives me insight and a, a word, a prophetic word, it is because he wants to show and demonstrate that he is a powerful God that carries your answers. But thank you so much for confirming. I'm talking to you. I'm, you are delivered in Jesus mighty name. Amen. Thank you. Vuvu. He doesn't want you to just love him for the goods. He wants you to praise him because he's God and all these things shall be added unto you. You find a person has never given even hundred rand note as an offering in church. You've never contributed to a chair that you are sitting on in your church. But you have 5,000 rands to go and pay for somebody to cleanse you. In a river that is smelling of, of urine and everything, people have been throwing feces there. Does that make sense? And you think that is the God that... It doesn't work like that. Yes, Ovi says, please don't use the crying emojis, guys. You are dropping the views. That's not good. Don't use crying emojis. I know that you may be feeling like you're crying in your spirit. I will only tell you the truth as best as I can. I know when the Lord wants to release a word. And when he releases a word, it's so that we are empowering those who are not in Christ yet to understand that the answers you need are in God. We start with the word because we want to lay the word as a foundation to empower you so that you stop falling into the traps of the devil. Always consulting mediums when there's a living God. Come on, somebody. You think I didn't have an option? You think they didn't ask me to join them? I was asked, I was approached. I had a choice. I could be a Sangoma by now. I had a choice. I exercised my choice. Let's get back to it. Somebody declare in the comment section, I belong to Jesus. I belong to Jesus. Some of you, I, and I'm, 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 I probably I shared this to also say, some of you who know you are gifted and you are talented and the Lord has been calling, you know there's a calling in your life. He's actually redirecting you. To say you don't have to go the other way. You don't have to go the way of darkness. You can come into the light. Your, your, your gifts can be nurtured in the light. I kid you not. I tell you a testimony of my life. I went into a church. First day, I did not speak to anybody. I was called into the pastor's office. I was asked to climb the pulpit. First day in a church that they did not know me. And after the service, the pastor said to me, I have noted that there is a gift that is upon you and you have been asking yourself certain questions and it basically confirmed the talents and the gifts of healing and the prophetic in me. I did not have to ask for it. 
it is there it's seen so in the same way it can be seen in the light of god even the kingdom of darkness can see these things that are on you and they will try to pull you on the opposite direction you're gonna have to choose somebody say it one more time and say i belong to jesus can we associate ourselves with god hallelujah i hope you take this and heed this i don't i i think you know i don't want to reveal too much but let this be a correction I, I i don't think if you're gonna watch the replay watch it very fast because where the holy spirit is directing me to jesus i need to speak to some people I need some people to inbox me. All of you who are in busy in the process of considering or whether or not you are going to go to that initiation school. Please, if you know you don't have a name on your, on your user handle, please put in your name when you're asking for a prayer request because I cannot call that user number. It's too long. Mimi belongs to Jesus. Father, we rescue every single person that has been called to a kingdom of darkness right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we are children of the light. We cannot fall into darkness. We will not allow ourselves to fall into darkness in the name of Jesus Christ. Don't open the door to darkness in Jesus' mighty name. Come on, somebody. Do not open that door to darkness in Jesus' name. Don't break that hedge. Hallelujah. Somebody needs to understand that the door of your house can never be opened if you close it well. So you need to close all the doors. You need to lock up the doors. You need to lock up the windows and stop exposing. The Spirit of the Lord says stop exposing your children because some of you, it is because you are looking for solution when your child is sick. And I'm talking about babies who are toddlers here. You have been taking them to shrines and you don't understand the effect of what you're doing that even in that moment when you are feeling that you are healing the child the child is sick and you are thinking and you thought that you are just going to a herbalist and they were just going to help you with herbs but in fact that cut that they did you need to understand that the, that blood cut was actually reinforcing a covenant with ancestors that were from the other side and they are not even ancestors from your family bloodline but they are ancestors that are coming on that altar there's different Oh my God, help me, Jesus. There's different altars that are, are there, that have converged there. And that is why, through that incision that was made, Father, I pray, if, if you are here and you've got that incision on your body, right now, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, that one has even disappeared. I want you to lay hands on those incisions. And say, I disassociate myself. I cut myself from every covenant of any incision that has been made on my body. Any covenant that I made with ancestors that I don't even know about. Any covenant of evil that I made. My God, I disassociate myself from that covenant. And I plug myself to the covenant of God. The covenant of Jesus. The covenant of Abraham. I plug myself to the rightful covenant in Jesus' mighty name. Am I communicating to somebody or am I speaking fiction? Is somebody feeling like you are listening to the, a novel or something like that? I know I'm speaking to some people and you know, and you know that you know. Yes, your parents meant it for good. They thought they were taking you to that altar to, 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 to fix things. But I need you to go pray for your children. I need you to take an anointing oil. Very simple. I don't need you to go buy it anywhere, even self. Just go to the shop and just go and buy an olive oil. And you come back and you dedicate it by the virtue of this anointing oil. Father God, as your scripture says, I will use this. The elders will use this anointing and they will lay hands on the sick and they will be healed. Father, I disconnect. And you put that anointing oil on your children. In Jesus' mighty name. Anywhere where you know. There are some children who have been made cuts here on your, talk to me, confirm very fast. You need to put that oil there. Oh my God. Maybe we'll do this on Friday night, midnight prayer as well. You bring your olive oils on Friday. We're going to dis, di, dislodge ourselves from certain covenants, okay? You will succeed in Jesus' mighty name. So close the door to your house. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If the door to your house is closed very well, no one can bewitch you. The king can go ahead and make his decrees as much as he wants. 
but you're not going to pray to any other God except your God. Daniel refused. He says, I will not worship any other God. I will not have any other king except the king that I know. Hallelujah. And as I decree and I declare and I stand before you right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I decree that there shall not be stagnancy as you continue to take your stand and say, I belong to God. There will be no stagnancy into your life. Hallelujah. Somebody come on, talk to me. Tell me in that comment section, I belong to God. Hallelujah. There will be no poverty as you belong to God. There will be no backwardness in Jesus mighty name as you declare that you belong to God, as you declare that you belong to God. Any sign of bewitchment, I cut you loose from it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Mm, some of these warfares that we get ourselves into. We will not worship any other gods. We, guys, the spirit world is real. The spirit realm is very real. I don't say these things lightly. You need to understand that some of us did not have the luxury of having a childhood where we could sleep and wake up in the morning and having dreamt of, of uh, flowers in the garden and candies. Some of us saw things that were scary. Somebody say the spirit real, realm is real. The spirit world is more real. Hallelujah. You need to close the door. The spirit is real. There are gods that want to be worshipped. Do you understand that when we wage warfare and we want to make sure that we're fighting these things, these spirits in this realm, there are principalities that are contending for you. The spirit realm is real. Some of you who will recall there was, a, there was one specific day and we were at our Menlin branch. There was a lady that levitated out of her seat. I don't know if you know about levitation. Where somebody is just floating in air during a service and I was preaching. And as I was conducting this deliverance, my mouth, my tongue swelled up inside of me. Because the enemy was fighting and saying, you will not speak, you will not deliver. I knew. So I know there are many of you right now. Some of you, you have started your initiation process. But you are asking yourself. It's like you are not sure you went because they say you must go. They told you you have a calling, an ancestral calling. So it is, it does not surprise me when they start coming because I've always seen it in ministry. I'm not, I started long ago on this thing and I would see people who are coming and they are coming tormented by this very thing of the ancestral calling. I don't believe. User two one four two will have to discuss that. Hallelujah. You see, there's, 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 two th there's several things that I know that God pulls me. That there are several people that you have no choice. I know that God pulled you to me. Those of you who have been raped, those of you who have been through sexual abuse of one form or the other, those of you who have an ancestral calling, so-called, that they say, those of you who need healing, you, you, there's a magnet. I laughed the other day. Somebody said, I scrolled seven times. I tried to leave your broadcast. But there's no dimension. There's no place where I would enter. And I'm sharing this to you as a testimony to tell you that when I enter any place, I may decide I'm going to preach about prosperity that day. I'm going to teach about finances. But I want you to tell you that God wants to deliver you. Sylvia, he will definitely do that. So when it comes to these issues and dimensions of witchcraft, your deliverance is certain and your deliverance is now. You just have to choose God. Choose God and say, I believe in God. I belong to God. And stop fidgeting in rituals that you have no business fidgeting in because you keep on opening the door. My God. 
let me finish this breakfast because I know that my people on WhatsApp, they say, Pastor, we need the spiritual breakfast. My God, when you belong to God, every word that he releases, it will nourish your life and it will nourish your destiny. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, if there's a food that you want to eat, stop eating any funny foods in your dreams, but eat the food that is going to nourish your life, that is going to nourish your destiny. In Jesus' mighty name, that will nourish your future. Your future is secured in the word of God. Talk to me, somebody. What is that very word of God that you're holding on to? Do you even have a word? What is the word that you're going to hold on to this morning? In Jesus' name, my God, I belong to God. Mimi, call unto him, cry unto him, and he's going to deliver you. And it's in his word. Father, I speak. I'm not going to call your name, but because of your privacy. But your name starts with a D, ends with an O. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, right now, in Jesus' mighty name, I command that spirit of fornication to flee right now, in Jesus' name. I command that spirit of fornication. Father, let there be such a detesting uh, desire in her. Father, let her just, just be. I don't know whether it's right, but that you were gonna, you're going to be numb. Numb. Your feelings are going to be numb. You're not even going to have the desire. May the Lord. Hmm, some of these things that I want to declare, God help me. Any time that you will try and do that thing, there will be an inability from the opposite sex to perform. Let me put it that way. That is more dignified in Jesus' name. You receive it. I saw your hallelujah. Receive it. Just type, I receive it. I know, I, I know, I will see. I know it's you. Say, I receive it. I'm free in Jesus' name. Any time that you're going to try and do it, it's like the lights will not come on on the other side. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I see that some of you wanted to, to, to be delivered from that. Because the spirit of fornication will definitely block a lot of things from moving in your life. So your prayer should be God. Even when I, I'm, I'm even feeling like there's no such thing as falling. You can fall the first time, the second time you did it intentionally. Even when you are feeling the urge to, let it be like lights out. Like there's, you know, they say when some people who have sugar diabetes, they cannot perform at the junction. Amen. I see that prayer request. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let it be granted that spirit of homosexuality. Father God, as he has prayed it, my God, in Jesus' mighty name, meet him at the point of his need, my God. Let it flee and let it come out of him right now. I command it to come out in Jesus' mighty name. It will come in its own time. Are you beyond the nine months? The nine months has passed. I command the heart to be coming back to its shape in Jesus' mighty name. At least I command that heart, the inflammation to go down in the name of Jesus Christ. Every single enlarged vessel may it constrict to the right size in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Jaliwa, make sure that you join the WhatsApp group. There is going to be a special session to deal with the issues of spiritual husbands and spiritual wives. In Jesus' mighty name, we command that cancer to leave. Guys, let me not be distracted because I see time is fast spent as well. But I pray for everybody who's believing healing. God for healing right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. As we continue to pray this week, your, your healing will be perfected. And as we go into our midnight on Friday, my God. God is going to scatter some things. God is going to realign some things. By the time Friday comes, you guys are coming in with testimony already. I want you to open up your spirit, man. From now until Friday, you're going to see things. You're, gonna, you're just going to come and testify. Thank you, Jesus. My God, what is the very word that you are believing God for? What is the word of God that you are holding on to? Jesus, thank you.
The way that you will decide to name your location will determine what land will produce for you. Hallelujah. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, and they that dwell in it. Hallelujah. You are dwelling on this earth. Everything that you need is in God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. No longer shall you be called ignorant because you have heard the word of God this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, God is going to open up your eyes. You belong to God. God is going to open up your eyes. God is going to open up your ears in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you. Make sure you are following the account that you are following right now and make sure you follow on YouTube and make sure that you inbox your details in terms of wanting to be part of that meeting. Make sure you find me on TikTok, Fortune L Online, and you scan the barcode and you join the, 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 the WhatsApp group so that you get an, an, um, an announcement for that meeting. Somebody type in the comment section, no longer will I be ignorant. I will not be ignorant in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. When you belong to God, ignorance flees in Jesus' mighty name. The Lord is going to open your eyes. Father, as I pray for these ones who are gathered here this morning, Father God, let the promises for their lives, my God, will, they will not be wasted. I decree, my God, that they will not be wasted in Jesus' mighty name. Father, I speak to every power that is caging their destiny to fall down in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I speak to every power that is caging your destiny right now it is falling down in jesus mighty name i decree and i declare that your destiny will not be bewitched in the mighty name of jesus christ as i pray and you sound, sound that amen somebody needs to shout that amen louder talk to me somebody as you tap on that screen as you share this broadcast come on guys you can do better than that the heaven needs to know that you are in agreement i'm not just praying this for myself i'm praying for everybody else who says i belong to jesus i'm praying for somebody who says i'm ready to do exploits this is my week to do exploits. This is my month of perfection in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I speak to every power that has been assigned to keep us on the low. I speak to every power that has been assigned to kill us right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I command that power that it will die in our state in the name of Jesus Christ. We will not die, but everything that is supposed to slow us down, my God, it will die in our state in the name of Jesus Christ. Father God, let your word prosper me in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and I declare that as we continue to meditate upon the word of God, my God, uh, prosperity shall come from every side, from the west, the south, the east, and the north. Uh, in the name of Jesus Christ, my God, in this land, uh, we are getting into the expansion mode. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, uh, my God, I decree and I declare in Jesus' mighty name. There's a lady who's wearing blue. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. Is it bliss? Your name starts with a B. My God, Makoria Basunda. The Lord says, you will not die in ignorance. You and your family will not die in ignorance in Jesus' mighty name. My God, whatever, wherever you, the problems that you have gone through have brought you to right now in that in that point where you are so feeling so low right now my god the lord is saying i'm turning it around you shall go higher in jesus mighty name you shall go higher in the mighty name of jesus christ this is a beginning of a new era god is launching you into a new breakthrough i said this is a beginning of a new era in your life god is launching you into a breakthrough that of a different dimension somebody say god is launching me i'm entering my new era in the name of jesus christ those that know their God, they shall do exploits. They shall do exploits. Come on, somebody. Karabashonda. My God, my God. I belong to God. Come on, somebody. I belong to God. Come on, somebody. I belong to God. Can somebody declare it one more time? I belong to God. I'm entering into a new dimension. God launched me into a new era. God launched me into a new dimension. In Jesus' mighty name, I will do exploits. My God, God is going to use somebody. God is going to use something to achieve his purposes. God God is going to glow through you in Jesus mighty name. God is going to use you to achieve his purpose on earth in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody say I will do great exploits in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The spirit of the Lord is saying that there are so many grounds that have not been plowed. They are in plowed ground and God wants us to plow those grounds. God is sending us back into the field. He's saying there is a ground that you have not plowed and you need to go plow it because now there is a sound of the abundance of rain that is about to rain on that ground. 
around in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My God, sow righteousness for yourself and reap the fruit of unfailing love. Sow righteousness for yourself and reap the fruit of unfailing love. Break up your unplowed grounds for it is time to seek the Lord until he comes and showers his righteousness on you. Somebody receive the righteousness of God. The Lord is forgiving those who are coming with the repentant heart right now this morning who say I have been living a sinful life. I receive the righteousness of God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My God, I don't know who has been doing wickedly against the covenant. My God, I don't know who has been doing that, but all I know is that I belong to Jesus and I will... Mm, do exploits. I will do great exploits in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I unlock the secret to unusual exploits to take effect in your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The more you know your God, the greater your exploits. Come on, somebody declare it with me and say, I know my God, I do greater exploits. I know my God and I do greater exploits. I know my God and I will do greater exploits. I'm waiting for you to declare it and say it in the comment section. I know my God and I will do greater exploits. I know my God and I will do greater exploits. I know my God and I will do extra exploits. Can you understand that you are creating in the spirit realm right now? You need to open up your mouth. I don't know why you're wanting to keep it quiet. He gave it to you so that you can speak. Somebody needs to announce to the devil that I've changed my language. I've changed what I have been saying. My confession has changed this morning. I belong to God and I will do greater exploits in the name of Jesus Christ. The more I I know God the more I do greater exploits in the name of Jesus Christ I'm going to walk in the supernatural from today and beyond in the mighty name of Jesus Christ Kalabahasa rakosondo dia masata kadia masande ikalama soto kodia masanda the exploits I based on my knowledge of God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ roshikola mahasata rakosekenia mahasata God empower me for unusual exploits somebody shout to the Lord cry to the Lord and say, empower me for unusual exploits this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm. The Lord says uh, it is not in your ability, but it is in the ability of God. It is in the ability of God that you will do these exploits uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord says I must encourage you that it do not look at your limitations. Uh, consider above what is uh, the word of God saying, hallelujah, concerning your life, uh, concerning your life. Consider what the word of God says. Do not consider your limitations. I lift you out of the limitation in the name of Jesus. Christ, you belong to God. Makura bashenda gila masoto kodia mahasata. Karia basonda kila basonda hela hasakata. Makoria basonda. Elizabeth, I thank you. Makoria basonda. Thank you for the testimony. Kara basoto kodia hasata. Ikana masoto kodia masonda. I declare and I decree that your womb has been fixed. God has repaired your womb. No longer shall you have an overflowing bloodstream. Makoria masonda. Your periods are returning to normal cycle in the name of Jesus Christ. Korabashanda kila basoto korea basanda. Those Egyptians will not return again. The Lord has asked me to perfect it right now in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. It is not by might, not by power, but by the Spirit of the living God. Yes, oh God. Ma korea masonda kiala basanda. Lika soto korea masonda. Father, as you ascend Moses to deliver the children of Israel, Father, I stand in the gap for every single person who's at the sound of my voice. My God, my God, it is not in my capacity. It is not in my ability. Ability, Lord, because by myself as fortune, I'm incapable. But I say, Lord, by the anointing of the Spirit of God, my God, I announce that these ones are a candidate of exploits, Lord, in Jesus' mighty name. I deliver your word to them, and my God, the word will stay in them and they will run with it. My God, they will do exploits in Jesus' mighty name. My God, I thank you. My God, the Lord is saying, I'm ready to work through you. Koriyama Shonda Tumelo, the Lord is saying, I'm ready to work through you. Are you ready? Because you have been pulling back for too long. You have been pulling back for too long and I've been saying I want to use you. He says I must tell you he needs a vessel that is saying I'm ready to be used. Mm. Thank you Jesus. In the name of Jesus, somebody needs to surrender to God. God says, I just need your total surrender. 
I just need your total surrender. I just need your total surrender. In Jesus' mighty name, receive that approval letter from the department. In the name of Jesus Christ, I surrender to you, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, total surrender. Snay, he says, I'm, I'm looking for a willing vessel, an open vessel. He says, I'm ready to take you to new dimensions. Snay, this is what the Lord is saying. Sometimes we think we still have enough time. The Lord is saying the night season is looming and the night season is here. And therefore, you do not have the luxury to be dilly-dallying and still be deciding on how much and the extent. He says, I have seen your heart and I've seen your motive that you are now moving in the right direction. But I'm asking for speed. I'm asking for speed. I'm asking you to go deeper because there are signs that I have for you is very fast and it needs to be executed urgently in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Snay, I need you to go into a fast for the next seven days that you are going to go deeper in the things of the spirit. That is the spiritual instruction that I give to you. You are going to speak in tongues, nothing less than three hours every single blessed day in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. How you choose to divide it is up to you, whether you do it after you come from work. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you're going to go deeper and he says, I'm going to show you new dimensions and new revelations in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Because there is a work that he wants to unlock through you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I bind that calling that is trying to pull you from the foundations of the ancestors in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Mm. Surrender to Jesus. Somebody say, I surrender my all. I surrender to Jesus. All God needs from us is a total surrender. God is ready to work through you. In the name of Jesus Christ, resist the devil. Stop resisting God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Because some of you, because you are resisting your calling, you are the one who's holding the delay. And you are the one that is causing things that are happening in your family. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God says, I will do my work. The gates of hell will not prevail. Whether you want it or not it's up to you how swift you want it to happen in the mighty name of jesus christ may the lord grant you favor miss b that there shall be somebody in that department that will grant you favor and help you reinstate or, or reconstruct those documents and you will do whatever it is that you can go to the, i think you must go to the police station and go and do an affidavit but god is has positioned somebody to grant you favor in that specific office where those things are supposed to be finalized in the mighty name of jesus christ work through me jesus god wants to work through you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. When Gideon made himself available to God, he used him mightily. Somebody who wants to be used mightily by God and say, God, here I am. Use me mightily. Hallelujah. This Gideon was the man who thought he was the least in his clan. He didn't think he came from a good enough family. Hallelujah. He didn't know he was going to be used as a mighty vessel of God. But you're going to be used in the hands of God. My God, God is ready to use your hands. In Jesus' mighty name, thank you for those who are committing themselves and saying, use me, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Steph, how is your girl doing? Hallelujah. Steph, I need an update in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I need an update. My God, thank you, Jesus. I need an update. It's been calm in your house. It's been calm. Why would an ancestor want to torture you? Isn't an ancestor the people that loved you that were on earth? How can an ancestor want to be mean to you? My God, my God. You are a tool in the hands of the Lord. Come on, somebody. Don't be like Gideon. Even if you are like Gideon, at least you understand that you're going to be used as a mighty vessel. My God. Ah, the poor, as you are connecting to this altar, keep on coming here every 5 a.m. Make sure you join the 10 p.m. Get back into the word. If you cannot do it by yourself, you're going to do it while we are doing it right now. I rebuke that spirit of laziness in Jesus' mighty name. Even for you guys, there's somebody, um, your name is not there, but user 214, etc., etc. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. God used an unlearned man like Peter to do unusual exploits. 
God used a persecutor of the Christians like the Apostle Paul to do exploits. If God can use somebody who murdered people who persecuted Christians, God can use you as well in Jesus' mighty name. God also used several people based on their availability. Can I hear somebody in the comment section who says, God, I'm available. Can you lift up your hand as you say, I'm available. Hallelujah. Give me that hand emoji and say, I'm available in Jesus' mighty name. I'm available, Jesus. Some of you are so stingy with your availability. That is why God is saying, why should I move? They are not interested in my kingdom. Somebody say, I'm available, God. As we pray today and as we close, I pray that you will receive the grace to do unusual exploits in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The grace to do unusual exploits is flowing to all of you on Facebook, on, on, on YouTube, and on TikTok, on Mara Official and Fortunel Online. Those who are saying, God, I'm available in Jesus' mighty name. Every unplowed ground will be plowed. The showers of righteousness upon you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name, those who are strong, they will do exploits in the name of of Jesus Christ, those who belong to God, you will do exploits. The Lord is letting his people go right now. He's telling Pharaoh to let you go. Those of you who have been caged by evil ancestors, evil foundations, evil covenants, right now I loose you from it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ that you may know him and the fellowship of his suffering in the mighty name of Jesus Christ that you may know him. Oh my God, my God, as you keep his commandments in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, he's lifting you up out of that dire situation in Jesus Jesus mighty name. He's lifting you up out of that uh, dire situation in Jesus mighty name. Oh Jesus. Father give us grace to know you and to believe in your love in Jesus mighty name. Thank you Lord. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Somebody say I belong to God. Hallelujah. Mara official you are still with me right? God bless you. Thank you Jesus. Hallelujah receive his extraordinary power this morning extraordinary power i will do exploits in jesus mighty name i will do exploits in jesus mighty name it's being made available to you right now in your spirit man in jesus mighty name father we thank you father we glorify your holy name we glorify your holy name Every secret for exploits is being released right now. Thank you, Father, for everybody who has tuned in this morning. I thank you for your mercies. I thank you for your loving kindness over our lives in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, as everybody has repented in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we thank you for your mercy in Jesus' mighty name. Father, we, re we thank you, Lord. We thank you for releasing the anointing that will cause people that have been at the sound of my voice uh, to release and, and make great exploits, Lord. I thank you, Holy Spirit, Lord, that the anointing for great exploits has been released in Jesus mighty name the type of anointing that will shake the earth my God the type of anointing that will shake the foundations the type of anointing that will shake the foundations in their workplaces in their in their businesses my God the anointing for exploits customers profits dividends we call you forth in the name of Jesus Christ peace healing we call you forth anointing for exploits in the name of Jesus Christ thank you Holy Spirit May you receive the anointing that will make you uh, call things that are, that are not as if they were and that you will see them coming to pass in the name of Jesus Christ. Rest in the anointing for unusual exploits in the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord our God Father release that power of great exploits to expand his kingdom. Let it be on you. Let it rest heavily in Jesus mighty name. That same anointing the Lord is saying, I have released it fortune and it will destroy every force that is causing every evil plan or every evil uh, plan or devices of the wicked one. Every wicked schemes of the devil are, are from the enemy's side. It will not prosper against the exploits that God has released on you this morning. It will not prosper upon the anointing that has been released on you this morning in Jesus' mighty name. The Father will frustrate every single wiles of the enemy, every single wicked plan of the enemy in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I send confusion into the camp of the enemy. Father, I send destabilization into the camp of the enemy. Father, I send paralysis in the head, in, in the camp of the enemy. Father, that thing that they thought it would break us, Father, let it break them in the name of Jesus Christ. Any altar that is trying to break our prosperity, my God, it shall be broken 
for us in Jesus mighty name let everything that is an, uh, 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 being released by the satanic agents shatter in the name of Jesus Christ uh, let it scatter my God father we, we, we vomit anything that we have eaten in any dream that has been slowing us down in the mighty name of Jesus Christ shatter it my God shatter every plans of the wicked ones every plans of evil in the mighty name of Jesus Christ I declare and I decree that nothing shall impede us anymore in the name of Jesus Christ we are destroying we are uprooting all negative evil cancels in the mighty name of Jesus Christ we uproot every evil cancel in the physical and in the spiritual realm from our enemies in Jesus mighty name father we uproot anything that is evil that is speaking against the exploits that we are about to release in the mighty name of Jesus Christ and father we thank you for answered prayer in Jesus mighty name and we call it done and the saints of God sounded a resounding amen hallelujah shout that amen louder right now in Jesus mighty name your prayers have been answered in Jesus mighty name I want to thank everybody on YouTube and on Facebook and thank you so much for tuning in God bless you remember to come and follow also on our TikTok social handles Mara official and Dr. sorry Takunda Mara on um um, on YouTube and also follow me on TikTok, uh, Fortune L online or Pastor Fortune, Fortune L online across all social media channels. Please help me, those of you who are on um, TikTok, to put my handle up. Thank you so much. God bless you. Um, Facebook and YouTube, you are amazing. God bless you and God increase you in Jesus' mighty name. Have an awesome day. 10 p.m. with Apostle Mara, 5 a.m. tomorrow. Do not forget. Okay.